Hey everybody, Daniel with Jones with Boardman Residential at Compass here. How you doing? How's your mom? I'm here at Red First, my favorite little bakery here in Van Ness in Northwest DC. Um, I love Red First, it's owned by Mark Persenberg, he's a James Beard Award winner. Um, it's a great baker, it's probably the best bakery in all of DC. It's a cute little neighborhood market as well, they've got a lot of smoked fish, they've got some jams, drinks, all, all sorts of things. It's super cute, my favorite place to have a cup of coffee right before our honey. All right guys, we're here. My favorite trail in all of DC, the Soapstone Valley Trail. Super cute, it's a little off of Rock Creek Park. To get here is super easy. So you can take the metro, you're gonna get off the red line at Van Ness. So you're gonna walk up to Albemarle Street, just a couple blocks, and you're gonna take a right. I can see Connecticut from right here, so it's super easy to get to. Once you see this sign, you're gonna head straight down. So let's go. Before we get going down the trail too much, I wanted to talk about the neighborhood. So this is one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of DC. The homes are gonna be detached homes and they're gonna have a yard. A lot of them are gonna have private parking. Um, just gonna have a little bit more than some of the houses you're gonna find in other neighborhoods. Because of that, the average house price sits right at a million and the days on market is 22. So it's still a fairly hot market and everything still goes pretty quickly. All right guys, so the Soapstone Valley Trail is marked by these yellow markings on the trees, so it's really easy to stay on the path. Just look out for these yellow markings. Now, my favorite thing about this trail, you guys, you get to cross the creek like seven times. So make sure you have the proper footwear, and you just pay attention to the rocks. It's pretty easy, but it's definitely my favorite part. Alright guys, we're here at the end of the trail. So the trail that's out on Broad Branch Road, right near Beach Drive. So if we were to take a right right now, we would go right into Pierce Mill, where a lot of other trails kind of spill out. So we're gonna be in the heart of Rock Creek Park. So you can keep going, you can take another trail and make it more of an adventure. But a lot of people do Soapstone Valley Trail as an out and back trail. And that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna do an out and back trail, which means we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do the 1.2 miles back to where we started. And then I'm gonna show you why this is a great out and back trail. So let's go. All right guys, so that is Soapstone Valley Trail. Awesome trail, right by the creek, so much fun. Super quick hike, right in the middle of the city. So, like I said, it's an out and back trail and I'm gonna show you why. So when you get here to the trailhead, you're gonna hang a left, come with me and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Here's our final stop. I told you it was an out and back trail and we're gonna go the very end to Calvert Woodley, the best liquor store in all of DC. They have a great selection of wine, liquor, but also they have a great selection of deli meats and cheeses. So if you're looking for that perfect charcuterie board for a dinner party, this is your stop. So how was the trail? How'd you like it? And really my last question is red or white? All right, that's it for me folks. Daniel Luke Jones with Warman Residential here. I hope you enjoyed our hike on Soapstone Valley Trail and checking out some of my favorite neighborhood local spots. I hope you can join me on a new trail soon. I look forward to taking you on